All right, say no more. Say no more. Nine spiral. I said, bye, sell a one to the home team. All right, let's cook. Let's cook for a minute. Uh, YouTube. I'm on my pain meds. And uh, so don't hold me accountable for none of this. All right. Uh, we're going to check in with my man right here. I do not want to share his name. All right. Uh, this is another platform. All right. Uh, besides YouTube. And so he's, uh, let's say, one of the guys uh, that YouTube uh, would not welcome. All right. And we're going to learn a little something about the Prophet Muhammad again. YouTube, they got me on some pain meds. I got all kind of metal in my hip. Uh, the damn weather in Georgia. And so hold, don't hold me accountable. And afterwards, I'm um, going to share a video. All right, and so... Just a quick little uh, cook session. All right, welcome, sir. It's Rock. Many people who haven't read the Muslim sources assume that Muhammad was dark skinned, but Arabs are classified as Caucasians and they can exhibit a variety of shades and tones. So if we want to know what Muhammad looked like, we'll have to go through some of the descriptions of his appearance found in the Hadith. Now, if Muhammad were sitting in a crowd of his fellow Arabs, how would we spot him? All right, and so you see he said the Hadith. Now, I'm not too familiar with uh, their books, uh, but it sounds legit. All right, carry on. Sahih al-Bukhari, number 63. Mm -hmm. Narrated Anas bin Malik, while we were sitting with the prophet in the mosque, a man came riding on a camel. He made his camel kneel down in the mosque, tied its foreleg, and then said, Who amongst you is Muhammad? At that time, the prophet was sitting amongst us, leaning on his arm. We replied, This white man reclining on his arm. Hmm? This white man <laughs> reclining on his arm. Got it. Sahih Muslim, 6081. It's wrong. It was narrated that Abu Jahaifa said, I saw the messenger of Allah with a white complexion and some white hairs. Mm. White complexion with white It's wrong. Sahih Muslim, 6071. Huh? It was narrated from Al-Jurairi from Abu at Tufail. I said to him, did you see the messenger of Allah? He said, yes, he was white with an elegant face. And the Muslim sources go out of their way to remind us how white Muhammad was. They tell us about the whiteness of his shin, uh -huh. and the whiteness of his thigh, uh -huh. and the whiteness of his leg, uh -huh. and the whiteness of his stomach, uh -huh. and the whiteness of his forearm, mm -hmm. and the whiteness of his armpits, and the whiteness of his cheeks. Wow. Wow. I mean, that's a lot to unpack. All right. Um... You mind if I call you Mr. G? All right. And so, uh, Mr. G, man, um, you were saying about, you were saying something about uh, an example uh, that the Prophet Muhammad, uh, in your opinion, uh, was setting. And, uh, you know, man, uh, like I said, man, appreciate you for being on the Nine Spiral show and giving us some clarity about what's going on uh, in Islam. Again, he's reading from the Hadid, uh, if I said that correctly. No disrespect uh, to my Muslim uh, Oxenakwas. Uh, nothing personal. Strictly business, all right? Uh, and so you were saying, sir. But 
when he wasn't busy being scooped onto a slice of apple pie, he was setting an example for his followers, mm -hmm. keeping a tight rein on all his black slaves. Wow. Sahih al-Bukhari, 72, 63, mm -hmm. narrated Umar, I went to the house of the Prophet, and behold, Allah's messenger was staying in a mashrubah, and a black slave of Allah's messenger was at the top of its stairs. I said to him, tell the Prophet that here is Umar bin al-Khattab. Then he admitted me. Wow. Sahih al-Bukhari, 61, 61. Let's get it. Narrated Anas bin Malik, Allah's messenger was on a journey, and he had a black slave called Anjasha. Mm -hmm. Cook and now. He was driving Cook. the camels very fast, mm -hmm. and there were women riding on those camels. Allah's messenger said, "By Hakka, O Anjasha, drive slowly the camels with the glass vessels, i.e., the women." Here's one about a black slave who was shot to death while unloading Muhammad's luggage. Sunan Nasai, thirty-eight fifty-eight. No. It was narrated that Abu Huraira said, "We were with the messenger of Allah uh -huh. here of Kaibar." We did not get any spoils of war except for wealth, goods, and clothes. All right. Then a man from Banu ad Dubaid, who was called Rifab bin Zayd, gave the Messenger of Allah a black slave who was called Middam. The Messenger of Allah set out for Wadi al Qura. When we were in Wadi al Qura, while Middam was unloading the luggage of the Messenger of Allah, uh -huh. an arrow came and killed him. Wow. The people said, Congratulations, you will go to paradise. But the Messenger of Allah said, No, by the one in whose hand is my soul, the cloak that he took from the spoils of war on the day of Kaibar is burning him with fire. Wow. Just to clarify, Muhammad had sex with a nine-year-old girl, robbed caravans, and beheaded hundreds of Jews, but he's good. His black slave, by contrast, grabbed a cloak before the spoils were divided, so he's headed to hell. Welcome to Islam. It's right. But it gets worse. Uh -uh. Muhammad tells his followers what Satan looks like in Ibn Asak, page 243. No. The apostle said, whoever wants to see Satan, let him look at Nabtal ibn al Harith. He was a sturdy black man with long flowing hair and flamed eyes and dark ruddy cheeks. All right, that's it. You a fool if you thinking otherwise. My vibration is irrelevant to knowledge you holding. Me immortal primitive being, this is what you inherit. Lower vibration, no being in the state of slow motion. Ill equipped to fit the description of pictures so tainted that the wisdom it has now become vividly clearer. Every move you make, we observing your maneuver. The quicker you move, it builds up the pressure. The louder we scream in crystal vibration that reaches the heaven. Promise to listen and open the windows, pouring our blessings. I'm most all the children of Israel is official. I thought you knew he won't prosper. No weapon, sacred ground you standing on will be crippled. I suggest you keep on clinging to Jacob, keeping the cold, staying in the vibration, talking the frequency connected to heaven that embodies a whole nation of people with a destiny that has to be regulated. <laughs> We 
Cut the cloth off the idols that Babylon out the Bible. The javelin through they vitals just drop a die for survival. I put my thoughts on this tribal. I kept the cold like his bridle. That be kind like I'm Kaido. Obi-Wan on arrival. Took my losses in cycles. I marathon to the spiral. Capitan on my rivals. American to the title. See the flat earth like I do. I shot the ball in the finals. Kobe one young patty one and he got on the patty gun. President John Young Patty and take a boat to the seven. Yeah, cuckoo con I'm the cappy. I told you once it's all happening. Dropping up and soft down a plan five and up cause we found it in destiny is in made you we made soft nothing wetter than creature on my letterman. Energy that's protecting them. Turn the key for ignition and see the Nagas positioning. If they join us, they witness the reconstruction is quickening. KTC drip vision. hijack city is crippling. One drop for the rippling, one rock for the dribbling. Shoot your shot if you're feeling it. It's your time to be killing it. Tenderoni is sickening. Keep them all at safe distance. Separation is natural. On team or they visit. They take shots for the riddle. My Khan, he be riddling. I'm my talk, I be listening. She cook meals in my kitchen, rinse. My Ruach with heaven since. Bathe my knowledge with evidence. Common sense for validation. Drug nigga.